And we'll begin in Pakistan, where Nawaz Sharif has resigned as prime minister after the Supreme Court disqualified him from public office over corruption allegations. But the case against Sharif and his family began last year with the publication of the so-called Panama Papers. Documents leaked from a Panama-based law firm showed that Sharif's children owned undeclared offshore assets. The Minister of Petroleum, Shahid Kahan Abbasi, has been appointed as interim prime minister. To have more talks on the latest development in Pakistan, we're now joined in the studio by our senior journalist and analyst, Malik Ayub Sumbai. He's from Pakistan. Well, Malik, um, now Sharif has resigned from his post as prime minister. What will come next? As we understand, general elections will take place next year. Uh, no, I don't think so that the general election will be so early because still it's 12 months uh, uh, for the next poll. So as the interim prime minister is here, uh, Shahid Khakan Abbasi, as you mentioned uh, in your bulletin, that he is, he is given name as the next prime minister. So after this, uh, I think that uh, there is a new name of the prime minister, that is the brother of uh, Mr. Nawaz Sharif, that is Shahbaz Sharif. So he will be uh, elected from a constituency in Punjab because he is a member of the provincial assembly. And he got support from yeah, Punjab. Of course, yes, because still uh, Pakistan Muslim League in the PMLN has still a mass uh, majority into the parliament. Mm -hmm. So uh, they will have to complete their tenure and uh, uh, with a new leadership, with a new prime minister that uh, the parliament will elect. But do you think that will be a stable and strong leadership? Of course, because uh, there are the two uh, political parties in Pakistan which are the stable and strong. That is the People's Party and the second one is the PMLN, uh, Pakistan Muslim League. Uh -huh. So of course the democracy process will continue like this. But it is, it is not as like as uh, under the leadership of the Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif because he is uh, basically uh, a personality mm. of his party and all the vote because he has a personality charisma. Mm. So that's why the majority of the people who uh, know PMLN that is uh, from uh, Nawaz Sharif. And, and he has been enjoying popular support as you said, but it's just not stepping, stepping down for him. The Supreme Court has asked the Anti-Corruption Bureau to launch an investigation into the corruption case on him and his family. What do you think of the future of Nawaz Sharif will be? I think that uh, uh, if you see in 1999 when Pervez Musharraf ousted him from power and he was went to Jeddah and uh, Saudi Arabia, so I think that uh, he uh, he has more tough time than this. I don't think so that this is something like... Uh, He's a weathered politician. Uh, yes, I of course, say. of course. And uh, he has a mass popularity in Pakistan. Whenever be the... Uh, you see the development process in Pakistan uh, that came into the uh, into his tenure and his party. Uh -huh. And uh, always in Pakistan, this is a one thing, uh, I say that this is a dilemma of the country, that uh, the weak democracy is always in the favor of those powers who are uh, non-democratic and they don't want to be the country into the uh, proper uh, transition towards the democracy. But do you think he will be put in jail if prosecuted? No, I don't think so that he will be because he has been, uh, he has been disqualified by the uh, Supreme Court and the Supreme Court asked to further investigate uh, his, uh, his daughter, uh, his two sons, and uh, Ishaq Dar, who is the uh, finance minister of Pakistan. And people outside Pakistan probably have little idea of how politics there works. It seems it's not the first time Prime Minister in Pakistan has been ousted in 2012, and then Prime Minister Yusuf Gilani was also convicted. So why the Pakistani politic was so... Uh, Convoluted. Actually, I told you as that there are a very strong establishment in Pakistan uh, who, who don't want to be the country onto the right track of the democracy. Because if they will, if they will let the people, let the let the country towards a towards a strong democracy, then uh, where these forces will go? Because they see their future blind, and uh, that's why they don't want to come the people the awareness, the mass awareness uh, among the masses among the people. But now at this time, when there is uh, accountability of the prime minister, there are the new voices, and uh, that there is the uh, strong debates on the social media, and people are talking about the accountability of. What the is the public sentiment about his ousting? I think the public sentiments are pro Nawaz Sharif because uh, those who are going to accountable to Nawaz Sharif, that is the PTI Pakistan Tariq Insaf uh, Imran Khan, uh, I think that in the next couple of days you will listen to the news of the accountability of those politicians. Okay, thank you so much for your take on this. Thank you.